Where do you think you're going with that joke? It's the only one I have. Holy hand of God, Betty, what have we got in it? Things. How many? A few. Open it up. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's in case anything happens. Well, Dublin's a very dangerous place. You never know. See? It looks like the real thing. Betty, you're watching far too much television. Give it to me. <laughs> now! How do you like Tina? Oh, wait till you see her tonight, Betty. She's a real woman's woman. <laughs> Bernie buys the tickets, Betty checks the times of the trains. Bus and train timetables always look very complicated, but they're not too bad once you get the hang of them. The first thing Betty does is find her starting point, Galway, on the Dublin train timetable. Then, by following the column across from Galway, she finds the time the train is leaving, which is 15.10. Now, as we saw earlier in the programme, most bus, train and plane timetables use the 24-hour clock. So Betty knows that 15, 10 hours is another way of saying 10 past 3 in the afternoon. If you come across a time like this, here's a tip that might help you. If you take away 12, it'll give you the more usual afternoon time. Here's how it works. The Galway train is leaving at 15, 10. So 15, take away 12, leaves you with 3, 10. So you know that it's 10 past 3 in the afternoon. Let's take another example. Say the train was leaving at 1600 hours. So 16 take away 12 is 4. So the time is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, it's just practice, practice, practice. And don't forget that in the Read Right Now learning pack, you'll find lots of worksheets which will help you to get going. Like clothing labels, timetables also use symbols as a way of getting across a lot of information. Just above the time of the train, Betty noticed this symbol, a glass. This time she followed the column down the page and found that this glass meant that she could get a snack on the train. Another symbol you'll often see on train timetables is a knife and fork. This means that you can get a meal on board. Where are you going? Which for heaven's sake, relax, Betty. My way around Dublin, sure didn't I do my secretarial course here? Did you? Really? Lived here for a year. Just off the North Circular Road. Should I have the map here and I'll show you? Here we are here. And there's Ballsbridge, where the concert is on. And then just down the little here, that's the centre. I'm hungry. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go into town and get a bite to eat first, huh? Go to McDonald's. 
Honestly, Betty, I have no sense of adventure. Well, if you'd rather have a cup of tea. No, no, no. McDonald's it is. Has it changed much since you lived here? No, 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 not much. See that man over there on the corner? I think he's watching us. You're paranoid, Betty. I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe we got off at the wrong stop. I mean, it's very quiet around here. Anything could happen. Please, will you cut it out, please? What? The boogeyman. Around every corner. You're giving me the creeps. It's the next dream, I'm nearly sure it is. I said it was the next street. I hate to say this, I think we're going to miss the concert. Betty, will you shut up? <gasps> take our money, our tickets, our, our train tickets, our, our, our Tina Turner tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little trick I learned in one of my useless books. When attacked, act mad. It's too late, Betty. It's over. Hold your horses. It's not over for us yet. What did you say to him to let us in, Betty? I told him you had three weeks to live. <laughs> oh, Betty. <laughs> I wish we could have heard her singing. What's love got to do with us? Sing it. No, don't be daft. Go on, for me, please. I've come all this way too, you know. Oh, come on, all right. Give me your show. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, give me your umbrella. <laughs> oh, Betty! <laughs> <laughs> What's love got to do? Got to do this. What's love but a second honey motion? What's love got to do? Got to do with this. And there we have to leave our true adventurers, but before we do, let me recap on some of the things we've looked at in the programme. First of all, we looked at symbols, what they are and how they're used. A symbol is a drawing or picture which gets meaning across without words. For example, we saw on a clothing label how a picture of an iron tells you that you can iron the item. And on a train timetable, we saw that a picture of a knife and fork lets you know that meals are available. Watch out for other symbols all around you. We also looked at the writing of a short note for yourself. You only need to write down the main points and don't worry too much about spelling or handwriting. The note is only for yourself. The 24-hour clock is a puzzle to many people, but remember our trick of taking away 12 to give you the afternoon time. If you have any questions on anything we've covered in this programme, you can phone the NALA free phone, one 800 20, 20 65. You can also call this number for information about local reading and writing services, or you could contact your local VEC directly. If you don't already have your Read Right Now learning pack, call the NALA free phone now to order it. The number is 1800 20 20 65. In next week's programme, we meet brothers Leo and Shay, who set out to buy a new video recorder, and on the way, they join a gym, try out some new recipes, and struggle with reading and following instructions. <laughs>